Dear friends, hello, I am David Afromov and welcome to my daily show at afromov.com. Today I'm going to give away some free paintings and some good deals, some huge discounts and only for my collectors, those are the people that see my show. Uh, so far we don't have much viewers because I just started. I would like to talk with you about delays in shipping. I received today a question from one of our good collectors. Uh, he asking why original paintings also take a long time to ship. So, I explain. Each original painting, it's a, this is just an example. This is an original. So it's painted. But when we sell it stretched, look, stretched on the wooden frame, the sides need to be painted. We don't use acrylic because in this case it's going to be a big, big difference between this part and this part. So Leonid Afromov uh, painted an oil. So oil takes a long time to dry. This is an issue. So even the original, it's ready for ship immediately, but if you order stretching upgrade, it's going to be, uh, take some time. Because look, we do not store paintings stretched. This is how painting look before when you buy it. It's an original, but sides are white. So we have to varnish them, uh, paint them and varnish. That's why it sometimes takes even months. So if you need urgently, ask me and I can see what I can do. Okay, now let's start with uh, free paintings, you know. I promise free paintings, but it's not going to be free completely. I hear you say, oh, no, <laughs> it's going to be free for the people that answer the correct question. Okay? So I'm going to send you some quizzes. It's quizzes going to be based on my book. The people, persons that wrote it can answer correctly. So it's going to be a lot of questions. Okay, first question. What painting? What my father created it first painting in Israel after his art exhibition was collapsed because this is the only way, as I say, uh, the gallery basically stole all the money from him and all the paintings. And when he came home, he was like very mad. He was so angry. So he took a palette knife and painted some painting. Then his friend bought it, uh, but. Tell me what was the name of the painting. This painting listed on my side. The person that's going to tell me the correct name is going to receive free, small, original painting. One of a kind. No kidding. One of a kind, original painting. Just tell me. I'm going to tell the story a little bit more for people that didn't read the book. Uh, the art gallery offered to my father to participate in an exhibition. They took about 50 large paintings and they signed contract with him. In contract it says 50% here for them 50 percent for my father okay maybe it's little fair so my father uh, also they put some little letters that of course nobody read it so at the end they took 50 percent and my father from his 50 percent paid 35 percent to the salesperson and 17 percent sales tax to the government so at the end we was out of two percent of sale of course we didn't pay it but we was like you can Understand what my father said. This happened. So, tell me what name of the painting and one of a kind original going to be sent to you free of charge. You don't need to join mail list, mail list, to do any purchase, pay shipping, nothing. Just tell me through the chat here name of this painting and this painting going to be sent to you as a free gift immediately. So I, I swear, tomorrow morning, Boris is going to ship it. Okay, now per person in Brazil. Yeah. Brazil, it was to have tons of taxes, but now we have a representative there. So Brazilians receiving paintings as a Afrom of company, basically as local delivery, let's say this way. So we ship it to our office in Brazil. It's inside of one company, so it's no, almost no taxes. And they say deliver it to you. So if you somebody from Brazil want to order, 
from this month it's possible and you don't be obligated to pay any taxes in case of any taxes we're going to take care of it so i just waiting the name of the painting so the person that's going to tell me the correct name gonna receive it for free absolutely really you can buy today especially today we have other offer so so far i'm waiting to the answers it's it's one of the famous paintings of my father not lali by the lake but it's damn i hate this air conditioner but without him it's hot with him it's a lot of it's ridiculous so today offer to my collectors 99 dollar any paintings not include one of a kind originals so any painting for example Hugo, you can order any paintings that you like at $99. How to order? Tell me via chat what painting you want to order and I update the price. So, uh, any painting. So, how to order? Go to my site, choose any paintings that you like. You can do it after the show. And shoot me email directly to me, david at afromov.com. And so far, my question, what was the name of the painting that my father created? after the exhibition collapse? It's the first question, simple first question. Uh, how about the smaller version of Spirit by the Lake? It wasn't Spirit by the Lake. Spirit by the Lake, it's already, Aframov is calm. So what's mean he's calm? He's like professional, he enjoying the life, he's sitting on the beach here in Playa del Carmen and he paints. Then it was something else. The painting was angry. The painting had a lot of emotion inside of it because try to imagine you artist. Uh, somebody just stole all your paintings and you also obligated to pay two percent to the government. So it's a pretty complicated question. I'm sure you're gonna answer, and the person that answer receive free original. This is number one. I have number second. It's a question about me. David Afromov. Uh, I sell my uh, my father's art since age 12, so I'm 42 and I, I do it 30 years, nothing else. Except uh, like Little Army Service and... Uh... Oh. Okay, uh, here is como puede obtener una pintura gratis. Okay, para recibir pintura gratis, tú necesita... <clears throat> Damn, my español is not the best, Boris do it better. Tú necesita um, hablar que... Pintó pintura, Leonid Afromov pinta in, como 30 años atrás, después un exhibición en Israel. Aquí pueden mandar nombre y yo probé dar pintura gratis, inmediato. Ok, the second question, I'm sorry, it was my Spanish. I live in Mexico 10 years, but I live like six months here, six months there, six months. So I, I don't speak Spanish well, unfortunately, even though my daughter speaks just Spanish. And other my daughters speak just English, and my third daughter she's just starting to talk English, uh, Russian. No, it's not where any walk with David. No. And another question for this question, it's a simple question. I'm gonna give free recreation. What was the office where I sold my first painting? To what building I enter when I sold the first painting? If you read the book, it's very Simple, it's a funny question. So tell me what office I enter, and I tell you, <laughs> I give you free recreation. Or tell me what was, or, you know what, I give you little, here is my father, he said, give little hinge. Otherwise he said, nobody gonna guess it because uh, nobody read the book, so. Okay, this is category flowers. It's not landscape, it's not cityscape. It's a flowers. Just tell me which one of them. Not that many. Okay. And don't forget, any painting today, $99. Any. Except the one of a kind originals, custom orders, and limited edition originals. There is also one of a kind originals. So you just need to choose paintings that you like and send me email. You can have today Sea of Colors for $99. Forever to anger to 
anything that you like. Or you can have for free, recreation or original. Recreation, tell me what office I entered. You know, it was funny. We just arrived to Israel first, like one month in the country, two months. And I took the paintings with me and I went to sell. So where I entered, it was so funny. No, no, not some flowers. It's not some flowers, but it's already getting closer. I cannot give a more hint, otherwise somebody gonna realize immediately. Okay, and the third question is for, from my father. Third question, it's uh, what pay, the person that's gonna get this correct answer gonna receive large original. Fourth question, flower, small original. Middle question, it's a recreation. Third question, it's a large original. When we arrived to Israel, uh, you know, we got uh, screwed by one gallery, unfortunately. And then we went to the second gallery. And gallery requested to paint my father some specific subject. Something that he never painted before. So if you tell me what subject did he paint, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you free original painting. No, it's painting have title. This painting that he paint have title. So you don't you cannot say like flowers, this kind of no, it's have title. And by the way, the original is still like second original my father created that when he came to Mexico is still for sale for this painting. No, Mariachi cats it was painted five years ago. My father technique was not good enough to paint more cats. Cats is like no, no willing wall, no war subject. Mid South transport. I don't know if you are a human and like, <laughs> but you're very close. So the person that tell me right now the correct name of the painting and mid size transport is very close. I'm gonna receive free original from my father. And don't forget, today any painting on the site, $99. eBay? No, he didn't pay eBay in 1989, 1990. eBay wasn't exist. eBay become much, much uh, after a long time. Well, okay. I will. Shelby, you can have free painting. Just tell me, what was the first painting that Leonid Afromov painted when he was angry? His exhibition failed. Actually, not failed. We sold all the paintings, but we didn't get paid because it was some contract issues. And uh, when he came home, he had no money even to buy the brush. So he took some, if it was no palette knife, it was some kind of metal stick, and he painted this painting as this was a flowers. At that time, he was only painting flowers. No red roses. I even don't think we do have one. But no, but you're in correct direction. So. The person that's gonna guess the name gonna receive free painting. Second question, second question, very interested. When I started to sell painting, try to imagine, we are in country, we don't know the rules, we don't know the regulation. I take him back with a lot of paintings and I go to sell through offices. What office I enter first and that make me purchases? What was the office? Try to imagine. I don't know what here, what there. I go, oh, I see some office building. Maybe they're going to buy it. And I went, go there, where, where it was. Okay. Uh, special free small original painting going to Wendy R. Youngs. My congratulations. The first painting it was blue flowers or a red, radiance, as we called it later. So, Wendy, you are the winner. Please contact me, david at afromova.com, with your address. And I'm going to send you the free original painting, david at afromova.com. I'm sending you the free original painting. So, I'm going to tell right now, David, you are the winner. Okay. 
my calculations to the winner. So we have two more questions, and I'm gonna have more questions. Don't go. It's gonna be today. It's gonna be interesting. I am like. Tomorrow, Boris is going to do the raffle. I don't like raffles. Uh, I always time lose, so i just going to ask questions. So what was the office where I entered? Try to imagine. I entered to the office. No business register, nothing. I just come with a painting. Hello, I sell paintings. What was the office? OK, so no, no more answer. And what was the subject that my father painted? By the way, after, the, after these paintings, he almost went to jail. It was very interesting and like detective story. So tell me what subject he painted. I'm going to give you free original. One more. So you just need to tell me what was the subject. I don't ask the paintings. Now the subject even not pre presented on afromov.com. It's not presented anywhere because my father was so angry he never would paint. No, he didn't do political. Mm -hmm. No jazz. Jazz he laughed and how jazz painting can make you complicated with the police. Come on. Jazz it's legal. And the political, it's especially in Israel is legal. <laughs> they have like too much politics there. But uh, no, he didn't paint politics, he didn't paint. At that time, he didn't paint jazz. This was like a first, I'm going to tell the story. Uh, me and my grandfather, we were walking to selling paintings. And we entered to some gallery. And the gallery only presented by the subject. And he asked me, my grandfather, can your father do it? I said, sure, he can do anything. I even didn't look what's he. He said, are you sure? Yeah. So my father did these paintings. And gallery was like, where you do this, do this change, that change, he spent like three months. We got paid, but gallery, I don't know what happened to them. When we came back, it was closed. So we, we stayed with a deposit and paintings, and we were, till now, I, we were not able to find this gallery. Question, I, it's not a subject. It should be the worth subject landscape cityscape you understand what i mean so after that we, we had these paintings a lot like my father he cannot paint one he paid like a lot of paintings with his especially his style so okay what's mean living no flowers no living this i don't i don't understand like he don't paint dead people so all his art is living Okay, more answers? No, yeah, no, yeah. So after that, we kept these paintings because uh, we were not able to sell them, especially on the street fairs where we used to selling. No, it's Hugo. It's not like uh, emotion. It's what was the painted subject. So let, if you go to my side, you have landscape, cityscape, figure, portrait, musician. This is also the subject, and I'm gonna give. Okay, we, I'm gonna increase the bit for the correct answer. No lakes. Lakes is legal. And uh, so I'm going to give one original and one recreation. Because the person, not, nobody answered where, what office I did enter. What was the office? Just little imagination. No business license. No occupation license. What's the first office I'm entering? And trying to sell them. Jenny Slipper Medley, correct? Jenny receiving free original and uh, oh, Rick one more and one recreation together with her answer. Yeah, it was a subject nudes. Uh, my father created like a lot of them and we were not able to sell them because first of all, they're huge. Second of all, they you cannot go with this on the street fair, even though it's more abstract paintings, but my father was what to do with them. So my grandfather he wanted to sell them, and he, you know, I tell you the story, it's also written in the books. Almost post office, almost. So it was written in the book, so uh, we were sitting home, and my grandfather was selling this painting, he, some people coming, buying, negotiating, so 
we all happy. And uh, someday coming police to our house in Israel and they ask us, uh, what's going on here? And we ask, what, what, why are you asking us? Why you came? They said, uh, we noticed that a lot of criminals coming to your house and going out with some uh, packages. And my father said, I'm an artist, I sell my art. As I said, what, why these people buy from you? <laughs> and my grandfather, <laughs> then he entered to the store. He said, look, uh, I do the marketing. So he called all like escort services that he was able to find in the newspaper and offer them nude paintings. <laughs> and he left my father's phone number. So we sold all of them, but it was like a funny police like didn't believe it. So we showed them invoices, take a look, we saw paintings. It's like you guys nuts with marketing. And you know, it was the first marketing done not by me, by my grandfather. And I learned from it. So it's not standard way of marketing. So Jenny, you are the winner of the painting. Yeah, I will go going door to door uh, selling paintings. And I, first, where I enter, it was some government office, let's say this way. And they were really in shock. They're like, you enter here to sell paintings? I said, yeah. They said, you know what's that? I said, I have no idea what is that. And I don't care because I have beautiful paintings. I used to sell door to door six years. It's a lot of... Uh, <laughs> no Shabbat. <laughs> uh, it was a lot of funny stories, especially I remember I entered to some house and the uh, uh, door opened by the huge dog, like my high, like, uh, like a tiger, a huge one. And uh, the person behind uh, the dog screaming, don't worry, he bite only the strangers. So I said, oh, well, <laughs> I found my new family here. So it was a very cool story. Cool time, you know, I were young and I was like, I love to sell art. I love to sell it today also, but today it's more internet, programming, and uh, more like, it's different. You don't talk to real people. That's why I love uh, uh, to, to do the live show. I love to talk to people because sometimes I get extremely bored. I'm sitting, try to mention what I'm doing. I'm sitting, I have a computer with five different screens, Google Analytics, Etsy Analytics, this, it's just numbers, and I just transfer the promotion here, transfer the advertisement money there. I love to talk to people, so. So, okay, we have two winners. The winners, Jenny, and uh, just a second. I've, I already lost in comments. Wendy, yes. Uh, Contact me, Leonid, uh, David at Afromov.com, and tell me uh, your address, and I'm going to be happy to ship this painting to you as soon as possible. Uh, okay. Uh, hold on, I'm going to answer a person that he is on the uh, asking me email about what I'm talking. So. Okay, so question was again about one kind of original, one kind of originals. And the uh, uh, person asking, well, why we don't paint sites? Because I explained why sites are not painted from the beginning. First, my father created painting. Then painting needs to dry. Dry process for one of a kind original, it's about two months, one and a half months minimum. So you cannot paint the sides where you cannot when you need, cannot touch this part because you're gonna paint here, you're gonna destroy all this part. So it should be dry. Then uh, my father sometimes keep painting in his storage 
and his house, you don't need to have side paint because when we sell art, we want to have the option open for the buyers. What I mean, some buyers want frame, they don't need side paint. Some buyers want here to have black, white, yellow. You know, it's a business, so we keep it white. And then after it's sold, we painted sides. Here we go. So then we paint sides. But this part, it's also oil, and it's also drying forever. Of course, we have special drying places with a lot of lights, with a lot of uh, uh, sun, so it's not going to be a dry, a dry faster. But this is an issue. Even original, unique one of a kind originals, we not keep them side painted because otherwise we have we are limited when we sell it. This is an issue. It's not anything that can be done because you know it's a business. If I gonna limit my customer in their selection, they're gonna say no, no, no. We don't want to deal with this company. Nobody tell me which what office it was. So think. It's so funny, no business registration, no business license. And what office I enter first? It was like a first, we like with me and my grandfather. My parents not allow me to go alone. They said, uh, no, you cannot do it. You can be, you know, kidnapped or whatever. Uh, address here. David at Afrofon.com. I already received email from Wendy, I see. So they tell, they telling me like you need to go with your grandfather. So I went with my grandfather, of course, and uh, his was like, "Look, this beautiful building, new building. Let's go there." I said, "Okay, sure." We enter there, and I start selling. No, not police department. People know people with the guns over there sitting. Very nice ladies, very very nice ladies, and doing some calculations with uh, machines with like. And they were so friendly, and they even wanted to buy painting. But when they start asking me questions, they were laughing like, <laughs> "Poor Russian immigrant, where you came to?" So it's very simple. Uh, I use uh, to clean paintings. I use, for example, some rug. It's oil, nothing gonna happen to it. That's it. You can use water a little bit, and you can use uh, no boutique shop, no telegraph office. It's okay. I would answer immediately, but okay, I'm gonna continue my show. I don't gonna tell it till somebody will realize how funny and simple it was because it was really funny. This is the whole idea of my book, how it was. All my book, it's about fun. We, you, know, you know, when I started to write the book, uh, like, only with, like, facts and stories, and my mom said it's extremely sad, everybody going to cry because life was difficult. So I took only the funny parts. Even this story that almost ended up for when we entered to this building with a huge fine, and then at the, at the end it was fun. Now it's uh, now we look at this very fun. No, it was government building. This is an idea. It was a government building, so it's something like uh, only for people, government workers working there, and suddenly somebody without business license, business registration, coming there. No, not newspaper, it's government. And trying to sell them paintings, it's there in shock. Because you know, how it happened, we was entering to different buildings. And everybody say, oh, today 10 people came to sell something, go away. Today 50 people came to sell something, go away. And at this building we enter, and I asked the security, I asked, is anybody come here to sell something? I said, no, here, never. I said, wow, it's a gold mine. No city hall, not court, not embassy. Yay, Consuela Bunny, exactly, it was IRS building. Consuela, you are the winner. 
contact me, David, at afromov.com, and you will receive painting. Yes, yeah, the first place where I entered to sell it was IRS office. And I spoke with ladies, nice ladies, do you have this painting, that painting? And they said, okay, do you have a receipt? Can you give us like an invoice? I said, no, why you need it? Uh, let's save on taxes. <laughs> I was 12 years old, and my grandfather told me, tell them it's going to be cheaper without invoice. I said, it's going to be cheaper. And they said, no, 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 no. Who is an artist? Where do you live? <laughs> and at the end, my father came back there on the next day. He registered. He registered. He opened a business. And we came back, and this lady bought it, and they showed me how to fill the invoice. So basically, it was, they helped us. They didn't give us any fine, nothing. They just laughed and helped us. It was my first sale at IRS office. So I sold the first painting in, at IRS. So some people are afraid of IRS, and especially in Israel, they like worry sometimes, can give you fines, and they check in. So no salesperson, door-to-door out, -door salesperson, not go there. And we was the first that entered. And basically, during the last next six years where I sell painting, we were the only salesperson that was issuing the invoices. So I was scared at the time. I said, better not to deal with. And I was selling door-to-door, -door, accepting cash, giving invoice. Also, one year later, I had a machine of credit card processing with me. You know, like... How this machine look? Now it's electronic device. You over there? What are you talking about? It was like a big stuff like <laughs> that. You need to like uh, iron, iron the card. Person sign. You give him the copy. You send your copy to the bank to receive money. Yes, so I'm going to ask more questions today, so don't worry. I'm planning to do it one hour, and now we only uh, 32 minutes, so don't go. It's going to be more more surprise paintings. By the way, very interesting question. A person that answer receiving uh, free Gicle, limited edition print on canvas, in good quality, in big size, but at his choice. He can choose anything. We're going to print him. He just need to tell me what painting, my name of the painting, where my father painted himself and my mom. It was painting where it's two, he and my mom are painted. What was the name of the painting? Or at least, if you cannot find the name, tell me how they were painted. I'm going to give you a free jacle. So tell me. Because this painting were created in Florida, where we arrived to the United States. My mom was like, you all the time paint something, all the time, never paint us. If you don't have a family portrait, paint us. So he did it. I don't know if she liked it, but it was the last time she asked him to paint anything. So <laughs> she was like, she said, yeah, it's our portrait. So tell me the name of the painting, or at least what was painted there, and you're going to have a chance to have any Jacqueline that you like printed. So choose painting, we're gonna print for you. Okay, what we have here. It's a question from Etsy. If your store on Etsy is legit. Yes, why not? We have store on Etsy, we have very small store on Amazon. Why small? I'm new as Amazon seller. And I list only like specific items. Amazon have very strict policy for shipping, for a lot of stuff. So I, I just started. Even though on Amazon there is a lot of people that sell our prints, some of them legal, some of them not legal, but it's all depend on Amazon. And I try, we, we try to sell, but over there it's very selected, very small selection. Little by little, I'm going to increase the selection, especially, you know, problem with big companies like Amazon, when you have question about where I get paid or how is this working, the answer is not arrive instantly. You don't have phone number to call. Maybe because we're still small seller, but I used to talk with, with like any companies that I work, like let's say PayPal or hosting company. I call them, hey guys, I have a question. So give me the an answer. I receive an answer in five minutes. 
yes, I got email from uh, Jenny and uh, from Wendy, and I didn't get the third email, so please send me the third email of this third winner, so I can prepare the paintings tomorrow for shipping. It's going to be first delivery. It's going to be three paintings. Congratulations. So, no, it's not forgotten. It's not Alibi is a lake. Try to imagine. Think what my father need to paint. So my mom says nothing. And he never, she never asked him to paint anything else. For family, for family portraits. Because, you know, all the relatives, they think artists, he need to do all his family in portraits. So when some come, somebody come to our house, oh, where's your portrait? Where's your father painted you? No, he never painted me. No, there is one painting he painted me. You know what? I, I tried to find it, but it was me. But uh, when he painted my mom, and he said, here is family portrait, me, me and my wife. And people, no, no keys. No. It should, it's, you should understand the brain of my father. It's it completely out of the box. So try to imagine what he loved. What he loved to paint. So this is what he did paint. No, no kiss in St. Petersburg. We are from Vitebsk. Vitebsk is a different country, different place. Even though my father loves St. Petersburg, he studied there, but he not that fan to paint it for his home collection. Okay, so let's, while you're thinking, let's talk about something else. So we spoke about originals. So these originals, by the way, you can have them today. We have two promotions, original for 250 and recreation for 99. You just need to choose painting and tell me the name, and I'm going to be happy to send it to you as a free gift. Uh, not free gift, I it's a time mixed up. You choose the name of the painting, and I'm going to update the price so you can buy it. <laughs> Not free gift. Okay. No, 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 no. It's not date on the bridge. Of course he paint her. He paint her with himself, the two together standing. And... <laughs> but it's... Uh... She, he said it's recognizable. My mom even don't want, don't want to talk about it. Uh, Wendy, uh, I need to hire a special company to send you the free paintings. You write again. Wow. It's the name of the painting, Sweetness. Take a look. This is a family portrait of Leonid Afrimov and his wife. Hold on, I'm going to give the link. Wow, I was sure nobody going to answer it. Here is the correct answer. Oh, so here is the answer. This is a painting, Lovely Sweetness. I am good, thank you, Papa. So this is my father and this is my mom. He is a big tiger, she is a small and she say fat tiger. But uh, he say it's just an artistic inspiration. So wow. Wendy, you are winner today. You're going to receive also the Jacle, so you're going to have an original and Jacle. Okay, so let's talk more a little bit about originals and my father. Yeah, he have, by the way, I have family portrait for everybody. Uh, but it's a, it's a link under each image, you know? Now links are, long time ago, a couple years ago, I was able to put just a link, go here and you're on my Facebook. But now some, my SEO department saying, I have a special department of SEO, search engine optimization. They say, no, it's, uh, you need, cannot put a link like this. You need to put inside of the images so people can react. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful painting. 
And we have family portrait for all of us. We have Boris, his wife, my wife, my kids, but they all look like cats, tigers, some kind of animals. So when he gave a gift for my wife uh, and he told her, I painted you, she was almost crying when she opened, she sees a rabbit and she said, wow, thank you. <laughs> but then she was like, why he paint me as a rabbit? Do I have a big ears? I said, I don't know, he's an artist, it's his inspiration. So today, uh, I done with the free stuff. I would like to talk with you about something. Maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to remember other question. Maybe it's gonna be one more question. Let me try to remember what was the funniest in our life. More sad than funny, but you know how we Russian Jew, what we're doing, we are trying to convert fun, uh, bad thing to the love. This is our sense of humor, so as my, uh, grand grandmother has this told me like long long time ago it's not problem when people are laughing at you it's a problem when people cry the picture is this it's lovely sweetness it's a self-portrait of Leonid Afromov and his wife also, he had a self-portrait for himself, all general. He paints this, and this painting was sold, and what's funny, it was sold on the promotion. It was, like, I had also live broadcast, and the person was lucky to buy it. So today, any painting on the site is $99. Why do it? Ma ah, by the way, maximum five paintings per order. You cannot order more than five. I want, we have two more people, because, we planning to increase prices in the next couple of days. Why? Difficult to explain, but economy. And let's say canvas used to cost us uh, $20 per painting, now it costs 60. Same with oil, with the shipping, with everything. So all inflation prices go up. But we have a stack of paintings. And my father told me, I don't want to increase prices on painting, that I paid less money to produce them. So he want to give them to you. So $99, it's the best price that you can get his oil of canvas paint. Not done by students, done by him. So it's it's really, really good, good deal. So what you need to do, just shoot me email, david at afromov.com, or here, or we have chat on Facebook, whatever you like, and tell me the name of the painting that you like to order. And I'm going to be happy to give you this painting uh, at $99. Also, we have painting from his home collection. This painting is completely unique, one of a kind original. So it's not a recreation, it's an original. You can go to the section. Here it is, here is a link. You can have this painting at 250 It's a unique, one of a kind original. Exactly, cost, cost of every single up, but you know, my father, he's a person that paints his wife as a fat tiger, and uh, he, he's an artist, he lives in the imagi in imaginary world. He don't want to understand this. He said, I want my customer to have it, and he basically, he right. The cost of living grew up. Did your salary grow up? It's the same way, I don't think so. No. So our money that we got, we got the same. So he said, no, I don't want to increase prices, on the old, at least for the old paintings. I want to give them for, for people uh, almost free of charge. This is my goal. And I respect what he's saying. He's, so far, he's a boss. I'm just marketing director. And Boris shipping manager and an operational manager. So now you can go to his site and buy Unique one of a kind original for 250, or uh, any other painting for 99 dollar recreation. Sometimes recreation, I don't see the difference between recreation and original, but it's up to me. Yes, I will choose one of a kind originals, and uh, trust me, it's going to be something good. I'm not going to send something that I cannot sell.
it's going to be good paintings because I hope what I hope when you're going to receive the paintings you're going to tell us you're going to post it on Facebook and everybody will see it that because of the correct answer you received free painting so I want to show people we're not a scammers because what my competitioners are doing it's killing me instead of you know we're not increasing the price the art it's a business same as anything else sell of cell phones like whatever it's a business so you have competitions other artists other art companies they all increase prices for example i charge stretching 35 dollars they charge minimum 50. but we don't think we need to charge more because self cost of the uh, stretching is not that expensive so what they doing they doing the negative comments this is killing me uh, First of all, it's killing me that websites like Peace Consumer allow to post it without checking the background of the comment, like to listen my side of the story. For example, I have one art gallery. He called me, he said, oh, yeah, you sell paintings cheap, you ruined my business. I said, sell it's also cheap. Why do I need to save on your business? We have our own business model. Maybe we don't the millionaires, we're not millionaires, we don't make thousand process of profit, but we good with 30%. 25 percent and it's my choice not my father's choice is not choice of uh, the gallery so uh, this and uh, so after half hour i talked to him he posting comment on this consumer like afro of the paintings done in china some bullshit i'm sorry I try to fight it, but there is no option to fight it. It's just a block. Anybody can put anything about it. So I sent him comment. I said, why you post the comment? He said, how do you know it? I said, because we just talk and you put it comment after five minutes, we spoke. He said, no, you, I, you increase prices, I'm going to remove comment. I said, forget it. But some people believe to this comment. We are in business 17 years. No, 19 already years online business try to imagine if we were not selling sending what you buy 19 years what happened to my paypal account to the credit card processing company this is this amount of uh, people that are not happy try to imagine what would happen they're gonna suspend on paypal and they're gonna suspend everything so you cannot do the business online So this is like, an, I just want people be go use a common sense. We have same PayPal right now we're accepting that we used 19 years ago when we started eBay. Email. We have inessa.afromov.gmail.com, same email that I used before I got domain afromov.com. Nothing. We didn't change anything. But these galleries, these art dealers, they're trying to put negative comments so they tell their clients. For example, this gallery, he telling me, okay, now my client come. I said, yeah, but Afro is a scam. Take a look here. He even posts this comment. But this, I think this is a big issue in maybe in the law or privacy law. It's not possible to post negative stuff against some other company without uh, some kind of proof. It should be authorized by somebody. Because I can, let's say I hate my neighbor. I go now online and put on this side like he's a bad businessman, bad husband, whatever. It's it's uncontrollable. It's not right. If you want to tell my company is bad, fantastic. Copy of invoice, copy of the image. Okay, questions? Question. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, thank you for those comments. Okay, quick question. I bought mine through Mexico on site seller. La Era de Arte. What's that? Authorized dealer in Mexico? Hmm. I don't know. I first, first of all, I'm first time here about this website. But let me see. La Era de Arte. What's that? I'm checking. I pursue here. 
uh, it's look like Chinese paintings like uh, from China I don't see any of my painting on the site if you can give me the link to the site it's going to be really helpful because I don't see it. La Era de Arte. You know, we have franchises in Mexico, of course. We have in Distrito Federal, we have in Querétaro, we, we have a lot. Uh, but this website, I cannot find it. So, Freddie, if you can give me the domain. Yeah, I see my certificate over there. I see part of my certificate, but who is this? Era de Arte. You know what, I cannot say anything right now. First of all, I don't know the site, but first, then it doesn't, it doesn't mean it's... Uh, fake if I don't know it probably so please email me name of the site image of the painting that you bought front and back and certificate in this case I can tell immediately if it's fake or not because I don't know some I know some you know some franchises they sell online under any name I have no idea what name because they don't need to receive my approval so maybe you bought from our franchises it's completely Legit, no issue, but uh, I need to see what did you bought. Then I can check and tell you, yeah, it's real or oops, it's not real. And in this case, I can help you to get your money back and to make sure that they're not gonna. You know, so you, you're not gonna get scammed. So I spoke about this blogs like Peace Consumers and for example one blog uh, that's called I forgot already some like hold on let me check what it was called complaints board, yeah complaints board I contact is a person that put a comment that was like uh, he was like very angry at us because when we did the street fair we sold cheaper than he does and he's like put very idiotic comment but what i ex i glad from complaints board they removed it they don't remove it they put it as resolved and after other after their investigation they realize this resolved it was a fake comment because you know it's it's a problem okay uh, yeah, maybe it's a small franchise because I don't, it doesn't mean it's, if I don't know them, it doesn't mean it's a scam. We have about 200 franchises. I don't know anybody. And I don't, I only know like five, six franchises that I work with them directly. But anybody else, I have no idea. I have Alicia. She's in charge of franchise departments. She knows everybody. But me personally, no. Because, you know, it's not my job. I do sales directly. And franchisees, they buy the right to sell a form of paintings. It's uh, it's all legit. They pay us money. They pay us royalty. We do some training. And we uh, help them to sell it correctly. Because when somebody sells painting, I want to make sure this painting, he sells it as we do. So he tells people true. If it's recreation, it's recreation. Limited edition original, it's limited edition original. Print, it's print. So he not sell paintings like with a huge uh, markup. So, for example, we suspend one franchise in uh, England. They bought paintings from us, like a franchise, and they start to sell it with a price like 10 times more. And we not allow it we control the prices i don't allow franchises to sell more than what we offer so some this is why also alicia she does sometimes crying she said uh, in the, with this way of business she's not going to be able to sell a lot of franchises because i'm very 
picky on pricing so I not allow people to sell my art more expensive than we do so yes I know the painting worth a lot of money it's worth a lot of money and probably this $99 it's super cheap but if I do $99 for some paintings franchise also do $99 for some paintings because if you are from a family you need to react be like I'm from a family so this is like any Hugo, any except one of a kind originals, they are 250. So any, and you're not gonna pay taxes. I promise, no taxes today. So any paintings today, it's $99. Guys, don't miss it because it's a unique opportunity, really. Go to my site, choose paintings. Make a purchase and in a couple days you're going to have it. No matter where you live, we have free shipping to any place in the world. Just send me email, david at aframo.com with the name of painting that you want to order. I update the price, you can buy it. Simple as that. Very simple. No need to do nothing else. It's hard, and uh, my wife sometimes she's angry, hard to deal with all of this. Yeah, she's saying like I, all day I'm spending in my room. I don't spend spend time with kids. I work 24 hours. I'm not sleeping because I have clients from Australia. They start to call me at uh, two o'clock in my time in the morning, and I wanted to give my position like sales to somebody else, but till now I didn't found anybody that I can trust and uh, he can do it i had one person he used to work with me but after six months of work he had a nerve break and he said he don't need any money he don't want to see any painting in his life because he cannot do it but for me i do it all my life i do nothing else i done nothing else and uh, this is what i'm doing i'm selling my father art nothing else so Today, any painting, $99, you can buy up to five of them. Don't forget, up to five paintings per same account. Because on Monday, it's going to be promotion, probably $199, any painting. Because it's going to be double the prices. Why? I don't know. Economy, oil prices, whatever. But inflation eating everything, and especially delivery. FedEx, UPS, it's ridiculous, but what can we do? This is a world, this is how it's spinning. So what we have now in stock, my father want to sell $99. Then new paintings, of course, is going to be more expensive. So, just a second, I received some email. Okay, from, ah, it's from Alfredo, okay. Let me check. Yes, it's it's a it's a real painting. It's a real painting by my father, and now I know who is the seller. Boris already sent me a message like angry. Is this one? Is, this is one our big seller in Mexico City. But I don't know him. <laughs> I, I I never. I don't know those people in person and people in person. Yes, it's a real painting, Alfredo. Okay, no problem. So, well, it's one hour passing. Okay, what questions to ask so you can answer me? I want to give something special. I want to give some special painting to my collectors. You know what? I'm gonna do something special. Uh, Hugo, Pamela, and all people that send messages today to me, gonna receive a complimentary gift from us. It's gonna be hand signed Leonid Afromov postcard. 
It's just a gift for you, just for watching it. Uh, send your email, send your address, please, to order. This is should be different email because sports cards are sent directly. Orders at afromov.com. Any person that watches this video and send comments, like a Hugo, Pamela, and uh, Freddy, send me the email and I'm going to send you the free postcards signed by Leonid Dafrom. Wow, well, what's that? My phone is like acting weird. Well, my phone does very strange sounds. Okay, so just send me email and I'm going to be happy to send your free postcard to everybody that participate today on my one hour live show. And don't forget, any painting, $99, it's not a lot of money, it's nothing. Trust me, it's nothing. Okay. Yeah, I hate to cancel orders, but one person use 51% uh, already discounted painting. It's not possible. So Boris gonna cancel it. I hate when Boris does it, but it's no other options. It's not possible differently. Okay, let's see. Okay, so any question, anything, feel free to ask. I'm here and uh, shipping time of every uh, email, it's orders at afromove.com. Postcards gonna be signed. So sometime we ship slow, not how slow, but everything, there is a reason why slow. For example, I ship slow some originals because not painted sizes. Some recreations ship slow because they're not created yet. This is this is part of the business. You need to understand. So when you buy original, even though it's original, it's need to be painted sizes. Without paint sizes, it's basically worthless. It's not you cannot do anything with this. You can only in case if you want to have a special decorative frame. So you just need to call me and tell any question, ask me any question. And I'm going to be happy to provide you. Okay, I receive Consuela, you send me email, great. So we're going to ship everything tomorrow. Postcards doesn't have tracking number, of course it's shipped via what it called. Uh, postal, post, um, like postal company, but everything else will have a tracking number, so you're going to receive emails with a tracking number. Okay, so any questions, anything, feel free to ask. I'm here. Okay, let's see if there are more questions. Yes. <laughs> Good question. Why my father choose painting? Uh, why my father choose Mexico? Mexico chose us, not, not VR. When I came to Mexico first time, I was sure I coming to visit for one week. Uh, he came to Playa del Carmen often. Playa del Carmen, Cancun, and... Uh, he was staying here a little longer, one week, two weeks, three weeks, one month, two months, six months, and then he needed to apply already for residency because more than six months uh, it's uh, illegal, you need to exit and enter. So he applied for residency. So he became a resident. And after he became a resident, he decided to buy a little house on the beach because, you know, he always wanted house on the beach. And in Florida, it's almost not possible to afford it. Try to imagine Boca Raton house on the beach in Tracostal. Millions. At that time, 10 years ago, Playa del Carmen, it were very affordable. Now the prices skyrocket, but uh, before it was more regular prices. So he bought house on the beach, and I have my family. I had my family in Florida, 
my I have older daughter. She is going to college in, in the school in the United States. So I decided, and I needed to help my father. So I came here, and again one month, two months, and suddenly he have neighbors selling house exactly close to him. So I said, why not? Mex it's not we are in Mexico. Uh, we're not in Mexico like uh, it's Playa del Carmen. It's uh, Caribbean. It's very different. It's beautiful. It's more reaction on the street. It every everybody happy. It's it's very beautiful place. So we decided to stay here. So I bought my house. My daughter still live uh, in the states. So I'm flying back and forth because she don't want to change the school. I can understand she's 15 already. So then we sold their houses and I we built. Two houses as my father wanted with his studio, 120 meter and whatever he wanted, I built it. Like not me personally, but I supervise the construction and I built my house close to him. Boris also building his house, but a little bit in jungle. He liked like a rancher. And we love here. Me personally, I'm like traveling six months here, six months in the United States, six months here, six months in the United States. And my father, he lived here. He loved it. It's a very good question, and we don't have an answer. In the book, I explain to the people about why we moved to Mexico, but again, it was fun. We was looking to buy a house in Florida, and our realtor, it's a true story. She told us, I have a beautiful house on the beach, and it's affordable. And we said, well, how is it possible? She said, it's affordable, you're going to love it. So me and my father and my mom, we said, okay, let's see it. And she said, no, you, you need to take a plane over there, a little private jet, going to bring you there. And me and my father said, what private jet? Why we need to fly somewhere? She said, don't worry, don't worry, you're going to love it. It's a beautiful place. And we were sure it's a Key West. So when it was a private plane of uh, the developer, he brought us to Mexico. And when we exiting, I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's even not the United States. I said, Laura, what was the name of the Where did you brought us? It's a different country. And she said, no, don't worry, you're going to love it. And when we come on the sandy beach and you have a house that uh, like 50 yards from the water and you can swim. And my father, wow, I love it. And it was affordable. So he got the house and uh, then little by little. For example, he haven't been in the United States, I believe, like a year and a half or maybe less, something like this. It's me, I'm like, weekend, I told my smaller daughters, let's go see my older daughter, we jump into the plane and we're flying. Do you siblings painting? Just I don't understand. Do you siblings paint also? What's mean sibling? I don't understand the word. Or oh, it's a gift something you can paint from the father. This I don't understand. Okay, United States, Brazil, Hungary, Czech Republic, it's no taxes for our art because we have representation there. So we have offices in these countries. So if you are in the uh, United Kingdom, Canada, like basically all around the world, Margaret, it's no taxes from this year. No, I do guarantee it. Because we have our own office, we ship it to our office, office take care of everything. And then they ship it to you. The shipping gonna be like three days longer, but you're gonna receive a local United States, United Kingdom delivery. Ah, I understand, brothers and sisters. I have brother and my father have sister. She lives in New York and Brooklyn. They are small families, and I have three daughters. I have 15, 6, and year, year and three months. Year and three months, she's very cute. So, Margaret, it's no taxes. I guarantee it's no taxes. Because we ship to our office, and they, they deliver it to you. So, for you, it's local delivery. Basically, most of the international countries, it's local delivery. So, no taxes need to pay. Okay, so yes, $99 is still available. Any painting, 
ninety-nine dollar. Okay, I have a question from somebody. Let me see. Any painting ninety-nine dollar? Yes, any painting ninety-nine dollar, and you can have it. Just shoot me email david.afromov.com, and I'm gonna be happy to update the price up to five paintings per order. Please remember, up to five paintings per order. It doesn't have any buy two get one free, buy five get something free. 99 is already free. So, okay. Yes, I know. But from March, I believe, or end of February, there is no taxes. Because we have our company, we have a franchise in the United Kingdom finally, and they take care of everything. So, any new shipments go through them. So for you, it's a local delivery, 100%. Because I don't ship you, I ship them and they deliver to you. It's little longer, but tax-free. Because when they receive the product, it's different, taxation, everything different. So uh, also about the custom taxes, never ask us uh, to put down the price, it's illegal. I cannot uh, declare five dollar on hundred dollar paints we don't declare hundred dollar but we're gonna mark charge taxes toward name of the british company or our company but it's not important for you it's going to be charged towards us you're not gonna pay anything so now it's simpler because we're trying me and my brother we're working around the clock with FedEx and UPS, we're trying to fix this tax issue because tax is not a problem. On $99 painting in Great Britain, tax is gonna be maybe seven pounds, maybe five, but it's gonna be brokerage fee. They're gonna charge for doing the taxes for you. So this is why I, we do everything, so you're not gonna be charged. So I guarantee today, nothing, no charges. Please buy more paintings and I guarantee it's no more charges. Only $99, so you pay $99 and you receive painting. Boom, nothing else. Okay, so wow, I did today broadcast one hour and 12 minutes. Thank you very much. I see everybody tomorrow. I'm gonna to prepare more questions and uh, hopefully more winners of the paintings. Have a wonderful night, bye-bye.